So yesterday was a perfect example of what ADA can do, why it's actually kind of nice that it tends to be a little separate from the market. And in fact, while ADA price was doing well, while we actually saw a surge in some of these other metrics, the big pop still has yet to come. And this is where things actually get very exciting. I'm Luxide, welcome to the channel. If you guys are new or haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that bell again, it's free to do. It'll keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. So obviously looking at ADA price guys, yesterday was uh, a very wild day. BTC was showing a lot of weakness. We've obviously had three straight red days. Um, yesterday wasn't a great institutional money day. There's a lot of retail capitulation going on right now, but guess what's actually showing strength? ADA. ADA is actually showing strength. Look at that daily candle from yesterday. That was actually a 4.6% daily candle while BTC actually dropped 1.23%. So almost a 6% swing in terms of ADA. And this is a, a very big deal. And I'll get to why this took place in just a moment, but this is a very important thing in terms of the ADA BTC chart. You guys can see how many days in a row we were just bouncing, 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 testing our floor, testing our floor, and then pop, right? So this is a very strong sign in terms of ADA. We still got a little ways to go. We still got to get back up to this uh, 550 sat level to really start making up some ground. But who knows? Maybe this is that moment where, where ADA bounces off of and starts outperforming the market. Because I do have to say that right now we're actually seeing a pretty big increase in terms of TVL in terms of ADA, right? We obviously see that we're climbing to some levels that we haven't seen since the early part of the bull market cycle. Actually, uh, I think it was two days ago, we eclipsed 800 million ADA in TVL. So that's a very important point. So what you're seeing is actually activity pickup throughout the ecosystem. You're seeing um, more transactions take place. You're seeing you know, development obviously still being on the rise. I mean, all the the positive things we've talked about, they're finally all coming together. This is this is a very big sign in terms of ADA. Now, why did this take place yesterday? Why did ADA run outside of what the rest of the market was doing? Well, we actually had a big surge in whale activity. They actually had 5.6 billion in inflows in terms of large transactions. These are those that are over $100,000. And we actually saw 5.52 billion in outflows. So a very, very slim net positive day for ADA, but a net positive day nonetheless. And if you guys look about a look at the trend, this is actually just since the early part of August, you can see that these whales just add and add and add, and they defend price and they just continue to accumulate and build their position while some people are, are showing some weakness in terms of ADA, all right? Now, what I have to say is if you guys haven't noticed this in the ADA charts, we're, we're getting ready to pop, all right? This isn't financial advice, this isn't a guarantee, but we've talked about this 100-day moving average being a, a strong point of resistance for ADA. We've struggled to break this time and time and time again. We obviously got that breach, which is a very positive sign back at the end of September, but we've fallen back down to our moving averages. And now we're kind of getting bounced around in between here, but I want you to look at the frequency. How often is ADA testing this moving average? It is getting more and more and more often. It really wants to breach this 100-day moving average. And frankly, there is going to be a point very shortly where ADA is going to try to make this second stab at this 200 day moving average. Now, this isn't a guarantee. Nobody knows what's going to happen, but this is where ADA may start to make up some ground. Then people need to frankly be paying attention to this. Now, obviously there are things that could ha that could help with this, you know, BTC obviously making up ground and pushing back towards an all-time high that would be a uh, a very strong move. Obviously, we have the election coming this next week, too. Maybe that is something that the excitement builds. I talked about the fact that we'll probably climb into the election. That would make a lot of sense across the market. So don't be surprised if that takes place. And then maybe maybe sell the news on election night or the couple days following. Just be patient for that. Now, what I have to say is that when we look at this hourly chart in terms of ADA, we're showing a lot more strength than we have in, in some of the recent term here, right? We are in bullish momentum currently. There's a few sell zone opportunities that have flashed on here because ADA has just been rip roaring hot over these, these few days and showing a lot of strength, right? I haven't really looked at the four hour neutral momentum there, nothing crazy. I mean, if you guys want to check out my indicator, by the way, there is a link in the description below. Again, there's a seven day free trial on it feel free to check that out. But what I have to say is it's you ever have you ever taken a water bottle, right? A half half empty water bottle and twisted it, you know, when we were kids, twisted it on the bottom and then just twisted and twisted and twisted until the top popped. That's what Ada is doing right now. It's coiling, it's twisting. It is getting ready to have that that push towards a a much bigger breakout. All right. 
We'll see when this takes place. Uh, I'm sure people will comment and say, oh, we're still at 35 cents. Oh, we're still at 34 cents. Give, give it time. You have to be patient. You have to let these things play out, right? The longer these periods play out, the more that is removed from supply by people that have a long-term vision anyways, the better it is for price performance. Because guess what? That's ADA that's not re-entering the market. There is less there for people entering the space. And then you can actually see something like I've talked about in terms of Shiba Inu, where you start to see a bit of a supply shock and it moves a little faster, kind of like what we saw back in October. So I appreciate you guys as always. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below. Have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.